Hello everybody. Well, the uh, words that you just saw there were penned uh, this morning as I was riding on a uh, bus from uh, Shizuoka City up to Tokyo. Uh, during the ride, about a two and a half hour ride, I had occasion to uh, stare out the window with the passing scenery, including Mount Fuji and uh, some beautiful uh, uh, winter finery, and uh, enjoy some pleasant thoughts. And I enjoyed, a, I entertained a thought that I've uh, done several times in the course of my 46 years, which was, uh, what's next, basically? Setting goals and uh, sizing up the uh, landscape ahead and trying to decide what's going, what, sh what should be done with the years ahead and what wants to be achieved. And had an interesting experience because uh, the result was rather surprising to me. In the past, I've always, uh, I've set very tangible, very uh, practical goals. I remember once uh, setting the goal of, uh, of, um, of discovering uh, uh, how simply I could live. You know, I wanted to, to find how, the bare minimum over the course of a summer, and I hitchhiked around the United States and tried to see how little I could get by on. And that was an interesting experiment. I almost starved that year. <laughs> Another one was, uh, that was a very short-term goal. Another one, a very long-term long goal when I was uh, just starting my family was to set a, a goal of a particular monetary goal, uh, how much income I wanted to make at my job. And I uh, was startled to discover that within a couple of years, and it wasn't, uh, it, was, it was a pretty ambitious goal. Within a couple of years, I actually achieved that, that amount. And, and it uh, doesn't mean I actually held on to it or that I had to make that anymore. But, uh, hey, you know, it's something to be said for um, sizing up the landscape and, you know, saying, oh, okay, this is what's going to happen. This is what I want to happen. I'm going to find a way to ha make it happen. Even if you don't put a lot of uh, thought into how it's going to happen, somehow somehow, just si laying it out as the for the road ahead seems to have some potency and some power to it. And I don't know exactly why. Well, I've done this several times in my life. And... Um, Pretty much, uh, I was ready for another one. So, on that nice uh, two and a half hour bus ride up, while I was staring at the landscape, I thought, what's next? And I cogitated and thought about it for a little bit and was kind of startled at the, uh, the answer that popped out at the end. It was really simple. <laughs> I think I'd be content with uh, a big ample rock to sit on and uh, a warm patch of sunlight to bathe in. Preferably at the same time. <laughs> you know, it really sounds attractive to me. Um, and I chuckled at first when I was, as I stared at my reflection in the, in the bus bus's window, and I thought of that. I thought, you, you're getting to be an old guy. You know, you're going to be an old man. You're going to shuffle out in your bathrobe and sit on a rock in front of the house and watch the sun careen across the sky until it goes down in the afternoon or the evening. And uh, I guess I have. I'm uh, 46, and I've got the uh, ambitions of the aged, the, uh, the the dreams of the of sunset years, the, uh, the the passion of the near passing. Ooh, do I sound poetic or what? <sighs> so. I penned those words, I whipped out my little notebook and penned the words you saw at the beginning of the video, and uh, I'm quite pleased, uh, actually, I'm quite pleased with uh, that particular goal. And it doesn't mean that that's all I want out of life anymore. I mean, I've got a young daughter to raise, and I've got a wife who uh, is my companion, and uh, the person I'm going to spend the rest of my uh, years with, and I want to be a loving uh, partner and par uh, to her, and a, uh, and a loving and, uh, and providing father to them both. And I uh, will do that, and I will be ambitious, and I will take care of my responsibilities. But in fact, I don't want anything else. I want to be with my family. I want to have my have the time with them, and I want to have that big rock at the end. And I'll be quite content if that's the case, before I become bones at the bottom of the sea. And that's, that's a worthy goal, too. I wonder if I can make that happen, too. Oh, well, anyway, enough of this. i got to go. It's, uh, I'm back from Tokyo. It's time for me to get on home to the family. You guys have a great Sunday, wherever you are. <laughs> Even if it's not sun to Saturday, have a great Sunday whenever the Sunday comes for you. And uh, remember, keep after those goals. Set them, keep after them, and uh, enjoy life. Take care for now. Bye-bye.